user code set up. You just need to log in through the browser, which is just your IP address. And then once we get into administrator mode, go into address book. And then we're going to set up a new user, add a user, and we'll call that user. Um, oh, in fact, this may be already set up. You can actually go into your scan user and so let's select that change. So your scan may already have. What we need to put in so just under user code we're going to just enter 6789 as a user code so it's now assigned that user code we'll call it you know uh, we'll say it's Mary who's the person um, So, okay, so that's stage one for setting up the user code. Okay, stage two, so we're now into our printer properties. I'm just going to go to preference and select valid access, and then we're just going to punch in 6789 and apply. So that's in our printer driver, stage two. Okay, so I've set up our user profiles. Now we're going to enable that on the copier. So user tools, system settings, administrator tools, scroll down to user authentication management. Select that. Now, functions to restrict, we're going to go, this is copier, we're going to go down to printer. And it was set to do not restrict. So we're just going to put on PC control. And we're going to go OK. Now that that's set, we can actually just go back. If we go back out into system settings, that's now just updating that. Wait a second. Back into system settings. Now that that's all done, I've actually done a few prints already. Back to administrator tools, display, printer, count per user. And here is our users that we've set in. And here's Mary, 6789, print counter list. We want to print printer counter. Uh, so we go print, and that now prints out counter list which will coincide to Mary 6789 and we can see what Mary has done for her colour prints. There you go, that's it.